she will give as much information as she is a comfortable giving and be able to give in regards to the Lister Block Hive Tower. It is a rather large structure. It is predominantly industrial, but also has a substantial amount of administration. Um, they had entered originally from the south side, uh, but we're now approaching from the north side. But she is fairly confident that um, proceeding from where they are, she'd know where to go for the last known whereabouts of her team as uh, they were basically in a section of the hive structure that was lost to lawlessness. And um, she's fairly confident she'd know how to get back there again. Um, is there any questions any of you would have for her? Uh, resistance, what could we be, what kind of things are we going to be facing when we get in there? Well, uh, the original entry into the hive, uh, we found that most of the people were terrified of the war that was taking place outside. And so the uh, enforcers have predominantly arranged themselves as a barrier and they are defending the hive from anybody trying to get in. Now, her inquisitor, being the talented man he is, managed to bypass the guards at one of the weaker places along the south without any, you know, unnecessary violence. Um, he, she's not 100 percent sure if he bribed the man or just intimidated him, but uh, they had quiet words, and the man let them in through one of the access ports to the south. Um, they were directly underneath a, um, is it Adeptus Astropath? Or what, what's the name of the Astropathic Guild, Jess? Are they an Adeptus? I don't think they are, are they? But yes, Astropath, but they had a, a full title for their holdings. That's it, just Astropath Telepathica. That's their environmental organization name. There's also the Psychana, but the Psychana are separate from the Astropath, as I understand it. Well, not separate, but no. You're a Psyker. I thought you'd know these things. Um, but they were basically directly underneath the um, Astropath specific tower. After teleport. Okay. Um, but they avoided that and, you know, walked through the lower hive, uh, eventually making their way from the south tower to the north tower and then up a few floors, well, more than a few floors, up several floors and um, went into an area that had a number of enforcer patrols, but since most of the enforcers are now protecting the exterior, the, the ones actually guarding this area were, um, you know, sleep deprived and nervous and twitchy. Uh, they explained, however, I'm uh, sorry, the team explained to these guards that they were going in to deal with a cult and um, the guards were pretty much helpful saying, yeah, sure, go in, wipe them out. You know, we left work for us. We're happy that you guys are willing to go do that. Have fun. Uh, they then proceeded to interrogate uh, a couple of people and eventually found one that apparently knew what the Inquisitor was looking for. They proceeded to that location only to discover it was an ambush and that's where her team got slaughtered by uh, things that are unnatural, heretical, icky. Um, and me, sorry. Um, so you know, her initial estimate of the resistance was 
very, very meager. Then after her whole team got slaughtered, she's going to bolster that up to uh, quite a bit more dangerous than first thought. Any other questions? Uh, no, not at the moment. I can't, at least, uh, think of anything. Tyrion, Haley? No. I got none. Talia will ask, um, what do you know about this cult? And uh, she'd also glance at Haley as he asked this, but uh, Ariane would only be able to stipulate that her Inquisitor had reason to want to exterminate them, and that was good enough for her. She was spared the uh, forbidden knowledge so that she may remain pure. And nobody would comment on that? Can I just check my Carnadon ammo? <laughs> With a loud click. Oh. Alrighty then. So uh, the vehicle would be pulling up uh, to the high structure and uh, Marnius would um, open up a little... No, there wouldn't be a port there. Um, Probably. He doesn't really have a way to talk with you guys, does he? Oh, uh, bang on it. Um, the vehicle would slow down and come to a stop. Would anybody be opening the door or doing anything when the vehicle stops? Mm, Okay, so will it burn? I would take my uh, uh, the pistol and open the door to be, you know, just in case. Okay, so um, you see a ruined city landscape uh, with the very outskirts of the hive around you. So uh, buildings that are taller than the ones you were closer to uh, with various skyways, bridges, cables running between them, sort of linking them together. Um, you would... So give me an awareness test. Okay. Just so. Everyone? Well, anyone who wants to be looking out the back of the vehicle, well, Vern's got the door open. <laughs> It's just a Scooby Doo sketch now. Everybody just has their heads up above them. It's like, doo, 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 doo. don't forget to impersonate. Yeah, so forgot that we restarted the server. Uh, so far, Vern, oh, you. For Christ's sake, I hate tonight. Hey. <laughs> All right. Hale, you definitely spot some people that kind of scurry like roaches uh, when they see Burn open the door. Um, but from the looks of it, they didn't look like they were armed or mutants or anything. They were just haggard peasants, uh, plebeians and the like. Uh, Burn, you maybe caught a glimpse of something darting into a shadowy alleyway. Would you pursue it? No, I'll just secure that everybody gets out, you know, as securely as possible. <laughs> and Bo Bob, you notice as much as Haley notices because you've got a uh, pretty good uh, awareness on uh, Alexandra. Hmm. Okay. Um, and then all of you would hear footsteps coming from around the vehicle to the back. I'm gonna get twitchy. Please, nobody kill my servant if it's just a servant. <laughs> I have my uh, hand cannon ready as I look what the steps are. Okay. Um, 
And so, let's see if the servant is <laughs> being aware. <laughs> servant is not being aware. Servant swings the door open and startles himself as he sees Vern. Uh, he throws his hands up. Uh, uh, actually, you know what? He has unshakable faith. Uh, I get to a free re-roll there. Oops. Yeah, that's a bit better. But still, he throws his hands up and says, oh, my apologies, sir. Then, please stop trying to scare him. How do you know? You're not out there. What? He's standing right next to you. Oh. Oh, there you are. <laughs> nah, just being careful. Nothing else. Of course, sir. You never know. Uh, ma'am, I believe we have reached the destination. However, there is a uh, slight obstruction. Obstruction? What kind of obstruction? I live a possible look, obstruction. So do I. I looking as I look. say, yeah, I'm looking at, I'm saying that as I'm taking a look at what the obstruction could be. You just have to walk around the vehicle, basically. Yeah. Um, and so he motions to follow, and he steps to the side and indicate with his hand uh, in a polite manner. And there would basically be a field of tents and makeshift hovels, uh, basically uh, refugees from the city trying to get into the hive, who had apparently failed and have now set up camp along the defensive perimeter. Basically, the, car, the, the road that the vehicle, the truck would take is blocked by these peasant hovels. I'll turn to Arianne and ask, so were these here while you and your we came in from came the south, here? and there was similar in the south, but nowhere near this extensive. Uh, just, okay, I'm, I'm just... Let's just get to the door. So are you going to proceed on foot? Well, or are you asking Marnie us to drive the vehicle through the hovels? Okay. I was saying, like, uh, it looks like we got to do the rest on foot as well. Uh, let's see. Do I, do I have him stay here with the car next to the shanty town, or do I have him head back to the outpost? Uh, everyone give me a scrutiny roll. Scrutiny. Talia will do so as well. And, well, yeah, she definitely knows what's going down. So that's Vern. Okay. Um, Vern and Talia, you both come to the realization that uh, the peasants have taken notice of the vehicle and um, are starting to converge. Oh, only <laughs> Talia, he would know what he needs to do. <laughs> Talia will say, uh, uh, yeah. might think that there's provisions or food in here. We should either turn this truck around. Uh, we, you know what? Yes, we should just get this truck out of here immediately. That's how you uh -huh. Okay, may I just head back to the outpost as quickly as you can? Yes, of course, uh, ma'am. And we will, so... We will uh, inform when we need a lift back. I will I mean, I think do it that I uh, locate uh, Miss... Uh, what was Lynn's last name again? Sorry. Uh, Walsh. Oh, I do my best to locate Miss Walsh and see to it that I am uh, given appropriate communications capacity with you, ma'am. And while, and I'll suggest you also help Lynn in any way that you can while you're there. Of course, ma'am. It would be my great honor. And so everybody out of the truck? Yeah. So he will beep, 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 back it up, and then turn, and start to drive away. And so the peasants will start to sprint after the truck. Are you guys going to do anything to stop them? 
dope. Mm. Your friend will just yell, fucking halt. Hey, give me your scary Vern voice. Okay, and now that gives you a bonus to your command roll. Mm -hmm. You can roll command. Uh, Do you want to take that? Uh, uh, kind of do. Yeah, I'll re-roll that. Okay. Mm, that good. Okay, slightly better. Okay. Uh, what was your corruption score? <laughs> uh, okay. Um. So, okay, Brooks not showing up in the call list on my end, so it's a weird glitch. I'm here. Yeah, so, I know you're here, but it's weird how you're not appearing on the list for me. But, um, yeah, so, Vern, with your fate reroll, that'll do the trick. Uh, people will immediately either stop, drop to their knees, or veer off into alleyways or out of your line of sight, but none of them are chasing after the vehicle anymore, and it will drive off back to base. Good. In fact, uh, Vern, your scary demeanor has kind of opened a path between the uh, peasants uh, leading up to the hive structure. Huh. How convenient. Huh. That hole was never there before. Huh? I wonder where that came from. The, the structures and the hovels are still there, but people have gotten out of the way. Yeah, that was the joke. It's like, huh. <laughs> This wasn't just opening through the crowd before. Hmm. Do, do, do. All right, so I think it everyone. Hey, people, speed. let's get going. Yeah. Okay. Uh, doing a quick willpower for Talia. She sighs deeply, but she'll keep up with the group. And she should be happy with these we didn't shoot at. Oh, kid, anyway. Yeah, but yeah. Ben had the ability to just take a fucking... No, 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 no. let me explain. <laughs> She's sighing because all these peasants are starving to death. There's children, there's elderly, um, there's all sorts of imperial people, um, and they're, they're, you know, praying to makeshift shrines, but they are not getting any kind of salvation out here. This is kind of a living hell for them. Well, this is a grim dark future. We have no choice but to say, eh, screw them. Let's finish our mission. Indeed. So basically, uh, moving your way towards this hive structure, um, things get denser and denser with actual structures, but the hovels are just kind of crammed in there. Um, but, you know, you will eventually proceed through the outer ring and make your way to the defensive wall. Uh, now, are you guys just going to waltz right up to the door, or are you going to play this out differently? Um, well, I... <laughs> we'll look at Ben. Uh, it's still even an option. It is if we don't all go. Well, you would be surprised how uh, silently and uh, stealthily Vern can move, even with all this crap on his shoulder. How is that? But I don't think. How is that a salt cannon that's banging around in his back, not making any noise? Because it's magnetically grafted to his back right now. It doesn't move, it is solid in place. Yeah, uh, um, Kieran will suggest that she maybe at least scout the first room inside the door by herself. Oh, oh, oh yeah. before you even get inside the door, uh, it's basically 
a massive defended wall with gun encampments and searchlights, and the hovels are staying at least 20 meters away from the wall at all places. Oh. So, yeah, I think it's best we just walk forward. I mean, I do have my witch's retort just in case for, you know, Not if mention, something get, shit hits the fan. Not to mention, also be less suspicious. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, um, basically, you will start getting close, and immediately searchlights will all start converging on you. And uh, I'm just looking for a good. And I don't want to use, like, a real-world cop, but I uh, guess I may as well from the token. Because um, these guys are just enforcers. They're not actually arbitrators. How's he look? Let's see. Yeah, what the hell? Why not? All right. I'm going to do the ball. And... Uh, can you guys see where your tokens are? Uh, Let me center it for you. Yep. I see it. So basically, this guy's head pops up and he uh, shouts over a Voxcaster Stay where you are. We have you in sight and our weapons are armed. None of you respond? Yep. Um,. Uh, Vern will uh, will answer to him that, uh, or, you know, whatever, that this is a uh, what's it called? The army here? BDF? BDF? Whatever. What was it? Defense Force? Yeah. uh, That this is BDF uh, matter, and we need to talk to someone who is uh, in charge of who gets in, or something like that. Well, he responds, you can talk to me. Oh. Well, that makes things easier. <sighs> we need to get inside. Is he like in a some kind of doorway? Small. He's in, he's in a crow's nest that's um, about fifteen meters above you. I'm seriously imagining this guy is the French knight from the Holy Grail. <laughs> Think of a more of a Samuel L. Jackson version of that. <laughs> now I want to see the Samuel L. Jackson version of the Holy Grail. <laughs> you you kill your mother with a hamster, and your father smells like elderberries. I fart on your general direction. No, I, uh, I can't do this voice. Oh. Anyway, um, <laughs> oh. Where's your friend? <laughs> he says you can talk to me. Mm-hmm. And I said, uh, well, that makes it a little bit easier then. Uh, we need to get inside. And? <sighs> Would somebody like to uh, explain our friend here? What we are doing here? I'm not in the mood of yelling at the moment. Well, technically it's either you or Haley involved in charge right now since Lynn's left at the base. 
and Burton's mm-hmm. fast. Does anybody else want to take a stab at it? So. Oh well, I'm just gonna keep this simple. Uh, simple then. Inquisition, let us in. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's okay. one way to handle it. Yeah, that's the you know most. I'm pretty. Uh, uh, I look at though. Maybe Vern will shoot Alexander now. I don't see what the point is because the, whatever cult it is, they already know that the Inquisition is on to them in some way. Yeah, and everybody should know, right? And you know, all the people around here. Yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah. So please give me a roll, Alexandra. Okay, this would be a command roll because I'm taking the order. No, it's not going to be a command roll. Okay, whatever roll it is, here's a D100. Ah, and here's so, a fate point. <laughs> I was trying to fate point on that. Okay, that's probably a good idea. Nope. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I swear to God, Bobo, if you just got us all killed. No, he <laughs> just fucked up. He didn't get us killed. I mean, yeah. not yet, anyway. How the fuck do you kill Burn with an assault can? Tell me. People uh, who are in the hovels closest to you are now panicking and running. The guard base on the wall has just switched on a loud blaring klaxon. And um, there are sounds of various guns being prepped and uh, loaded and charged up as more of the searchlights glare down onto the party. Do any of you want to take any immediate action here? Fucking damn it. Well, uh, how big is the rose set or whatever we were given to show that we're Inquisition? Now that that fucking cat is out of the bag, might as well uh, show it to the. About the size of a. Um, uh, about three soup cans, basically. Okay. I will basically take that out of my uh, uh, my pocket and show it to the guy who's at the fucking crow's nest. Yeah. Okay. Pretty much showing it like that. Um, so you gotta remember, you're pretty far away, but uh, I'm holding that up. Uh Uh-huh. That was their awareness roll to see it. You're very lucky. (laughs) Um, the shouting, um, stand down, stand down! You can hear quite clearly from someone, and that what that the, the phrase echoes from multiple voices, uh, and the weapons are the sound of them being powered down and disarmed, and um, the man in the tower uh, does something, and the door opens up in front of you, and uh, I'm going to roll his willpower. He's going to be a badass, and he's going to come down from the crow's nest to meet you at the door. Uh-huh. Was everybody coming oh. to the door, or what? Yeah. Well, yeah. let's move before the uh, people change their mind. Yeah. Also, I'm giving a glare at Alexandra, and I put so, back my... Oh, thing. Sorry, go ahead. 
I'll put back my uh, rosette. Yeah, uh, rosette. Yeah. Okay. So he's standing at the door with the uh, hands in the sign of the Aquila. Uh, you can't see his eyes through the shades, uh, but uh, he is. He, Expression otherwise is one of fear and reverence. Sorry? Fear and what? Reverence. Reverencing. What? Uh, the word reverence, uh, let me take it out. It's to show uh, respect in sort of a religious capacity. Okay, okay. Uh, Vern will look at the guy and uh, say to him, uh, well, since this went this way, um, <clears throat> yes, we need to go inside and take care of a small problem that I point at Ariane Durand uh, has informed us. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. He'll uh, push his back up against the wall and motion with his hands like, come on in. Uh, but uh, at the moment, he's just kind of shitting bricks. <laughs> okay. Well, they can use those bricks to make the walls larger. Let's move on. Okay. Come on. So, <laughs> oh, don't go too far. Uh, you guys, I'll just move it for you. So yeah. you guys get about to here. And uh -huh. the four doors inside here are um, fairly dense. Uh, there's... Um, Basically, lots of armed people, lots of agitated people, and already word of you guys being Inquisition is getting around because there are tons and tons of people staring at you, wide-eyed, trembling, or, you know, darting into someplace to hide away from you, um, except at the end of the hall, and I'd like everyone to roll an awareness. Nope. <laughs> and we'll see simply your face. I missed my four freaking points, guys. Darn it. <laughs> Actually, least, I think it's eight. I at, least you, at least you didn't miss by 35. Yes, but my base perception is 50. That's why she didn't miss by 35. <laughs> uh, your awareness is only trained, so Kaylee's the only one. Uh, no, oh, I guess I should roll for Kieran. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, it's just for Talia. I'll, I'll take Talia's roll. You can, you can pretend that was mine. Oh, fucking hell. Any explanation, Jess? Is she already offline? Ask her what's going on. thing about this though Vern's ham just suddenly lost a lady and now it's just regained a new lady even the servo skull is female yes. <laughs> alright well Jess um, let's just ignore the scout problem for now because it is Shelby's time to shine um Talia will basically move past uh, Tyrion and Vern. Are either of you going to try and stop her? Yes. 
Oh, yes. Uh, please, Jess, uh, send us the picture. But, Tyrion, you're, well, how are you going to try and stop Talia? Grab her hand as she walks by. Okay, give me your uh, attack roll. Holy shit, Talia. shelly has got a freaking storm shield. It's not a storm shield. Oh! Oh! Now I have no problem. What the hell is up with this? <laughs> All right. You uh, managed to grab her wrist, and she seems startled. It's like she'll look. No words. Her eyes are wide. You're not. Re- oh, give me a scrutiny roll. See if you can tell what the expression on Talia's face is right now. Not going to be happy if I figure it out. Nope. You, you're really quite confused as to she's like just staring at you, and then she looks off in the distance again. <laughs> nope, Shelby. <laughs> is Haley going to say anything? Or is Haley just yep. letting this? Uh, t- she's going to look at Taryn. let her go. Uh, why? I don't think I should just, just let Talia of all people walk off by herself. She's not going anywhere. H- how do you know that? She was just going on somewhere. Well, then I'm going to go with her. Just let go. I'm going with her if I let go wherever she goes. At this point, I think the Shelby's close enough that you can all see her. Oh. Ooh, let go now. Why didn't you just say so? <laughs> She'll turn back to Haley and be like, why wouldn't you just say so? Vern, uh, are you going to stop Talia as she moves past you? No, I'm just with Scott's Smack that this is a uh, nah. in all of the material. In all the material, this is the le- last person I expected to see here. Yeah, this is quite a uh, yeah. I just had the word in my head, but I can't come up with it now, for some reason. Coincidence, yes. So, at Quite the a moment, coincidence. Sorry, go ahead. That's all he's saying? It's just quite a coincidence? No, not even saying. That's just, you know, reflecting from her, his face. Okay. Like, so, at the moment, oh, God, sorry. Sorry. a little bit. Yes, that is also what Talia's expression is, um, and she's her her expression switches between what the fuck's going on and is this real and oh please let this be real. Oh, is this just fantasy? <laughs> okay, uh, give me a roll, Jess. Raise your hand. Uh, <laughs> kind of nervous of why she's fading to this a 63. All right. So with the eight points, it starts out as a very awkward hug. But suddenly, Talia will, her voice will crack. She'll, she'll be laughing and crying at the same time. And also... Hug Shelby, um, and just kind of stammer and um, raise her hand up to her mouth. Uh, she just she can't think of words to say right now. Uh, she'll she'll try to not really pry Shelby off of her, but she'll try to just pull away slightly, just so she can look in Shelby's face. Will Shelby allow that, or is Shelby like just bear hugging her? I'm pretty sure at this point Shelby's probably crushed hugging Talia so high Talia's turning into diamond (laughs) so at this moment Talia is just staring into Shelby's eyes (laughs) what's going on (laughs) um um, she'll break the hug just to turn to look at Vern to find out is Vern pointing a gun at them? 
for that matter, is anyone pointing a gun at them? Uh, Alex is just taking off a helmet and going like, what? Wait, no, Ben. Them, uh, them uh, as in Talia and Shelby, or are there others? Of Turin, Vern, Haley, Alex, and Ariane, are any of them being hostile towards Shelby or Talia? No, Alex is being more dumbfounded at all of the Imperium. Shelby's here. Yeah. Pretty much the same. I mean, Vern will have his shotgun in a uh, semi-ready position, like, you know, you would when you're walking around patrolling, but, you know, not in a threatening manner otherwise. Just, no, okay. you know, carrying it. <laughs> yeah. Ariane will ask, what's going on? Long story. Old, old friends reuniting. Karen is going to walk over there and say it's, it's uh, what's the word I was looking for? I had the phrase in my head. Welcome back. That That's a good phrase. That works. Did not expect you to be honest. I say to Shelby. Talia is still having some difficulty speaking. Um, Shelby, stop hugging her. She's running out of air. All right, we've had a little moment here, but I think we should go somewhere a little more private. We've got a lot of prying eyes at the moment. Talia will point to Haley and say, yes, yes, that's a very good idea. Uh, uh, Shelby, uh, Ariane, do either of you know a private place around here? Uh, right. Um, and I think, uh, Jess, you are in close proximity, so you're going to have to make a roll for that. And you're not going to be able to uh, fetter it. For whatever reason, something is interfering and you can't fetter at the moment. You have to use full power. Why did I move closer to Shelby? Why didn't I move away from Shelby? <laughs> Although, considering where I was standing, I'm not sure where where I'm standing is any worse. <laughs> sure. Or, I mean, any better. Why, why, are you, why are you blaming Joe? <laughs> this happens every time she's around Haley. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, Joe gains four more fate points. <laughs> okay, um, tell you face will be utter shock and she will actually take a half step away from Shelby for a moment and then squint her eyes and lean forward and a little smile will curve at the side of her lips and then she'll scowl slightly and then she'll actually uh, just kind of whisper awkwardly was that you? And her face will light up again. She'll kind of tap her, uh, Alia will tap her uh, skull slightly while looking towards Shelby. What's going on? Well, we'll Is that in character or out of? Yeah. Talia will just sort of wave her hand, like, okay, okay, yeah. Now let's let's find a private place. Uh, Shelby, do you know of a private place? Oh, okay. God, there's just so many innuendos going on right now. Uh, all right, everybody, give me a quick awareness roll. 
Oh, finally. Yeah, I knew my streak would have to end soon. Oh! Great! <laughs> Shall we see Talia? Vern, your wall. I'm trying the fucking thing just... What the fuck's going on? Oh, that's uh, going on. Uh, my keyboard just changed from Finnish to English. <laughs> Although, it always it would be fine, but the brackets didn't work. So I was like, what the fuck was going on? Okay. Wait. Uh, so. Uh, isn't your keyboard always finished? Like, you know, it must have been made in Finland, therefore it's finished? Never mind. Talia, or the fuck, Tiran, um, you've got a pretty good idea that uh, there's an abandoned store just. Um, few meters uh, towards the north. Vern, you spy a uh, public washroom towards the south. Am I assuming, am I safe to assume that up is north? Which way get yeah. 449? Uh, it, there was a penalty to finding a okay. private place just by looking around. But Alexandra, you are quite well aware that there is a crowd kind of lingering just at the perimeter of your immediate vicinity. I say, I say we go north. I say the abandoned store would be better than the washroom. Yeah, same here. <laughs> okay. So uh, you guys will head north a bit. Who wants to try and break into the uh, boarded up building for, or, well, boarded up room first? <laughs> Burn, probably. Uh, I, I, through the door at this point. I don't think he needs to force his way. He's not strong, he's just tough. I have he's a power mall. Well, so you're just going to power mall the uh, barricade? <laughs> well, if it doesn't go off with, with few tugs, I mean, yeah. Okay. Then. Give me a strength roll then if you're going to do it the traditional way first. Of course, you guys also have a Shelby. And fuck, if, uh, if you yeah, need a power roll with the Shelby or... around, why don't we don't use the burn tug. And we don't use the Psyker because when the Psyker uses her powers, sometimes demons pop out. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say all hell breaks loose usually. Also, oh, yeah. what? Why do you lie? Very nice strong. Yeah, look, I, I, I corrected myself afterwards, but uh, oh, compared missed. to his uh, toughness, his strength is meager. Yep. I wonder who could win in a in an arm wrestling contest, Vern or Ogren? Okay, Ariane will. Um, say since she doesn't really know what's going on she'll scan guard at the door um, the shop looks like it used to be uh, a clothing shop of some sort there's uh, some mannequins that have been collecting dust and cobwebs for a while uh, there's no light or power visible anywhere inside the room but most of you have flashlights of some sort so I'm saying there's enough light being cast by the party that you guys can see around well enough um, is anyone going to go deeper into the store to explore, or are you guys all stay? Me. Me. Okay. Here. I want to see if I can find a cool cape. I'll go with Tian just so <laughs> just so nobody goes alone around here. Okay. Not to mention, I want to be away from Tal. I want to be away from Shelby at the moment in case she still has that black stone. <laughs> I'm going to do an awareness roll to find a cape. That's unfortunately. No, you do a search roll. roll. If you're looking for something in particular, you do a search roll. Do I see any cape like material? <laughs> I can't spell search. 36, that's a bill because I have to half my perception, which is 20. Oh, for God's I'm not using my time for that. I'm more. Interested? Why the hell Shelby is here? And also keeping an eye out that nobody uh, unwanted will wander in this store while we're talking. Yeah. 
And that awareness was for uh, while I'm just going off with uh, here, and I'm at least trying to hear him what they say, you know, with everybody else. You do discover a um, nest of some kind of rodent-like pest, but it scurries away as you approach. I wanted to sleep. That, you, you don't detect any living things in the area. So, um, the, uh, at the moment, uh, Talia is uh, just sort of leaving Shelby over to some place where they can sit down, um, but there's not really a lot of options, so she has to get up on top of a counter to sit down. And uh, she just looks at Shelby and says, All right, so uh, how are you here? Are you alone? What's going on? And, oh, dear Emperor, am I glad to see you. I think we'd all like to hear this story. Uh-huh. Or in this case, read. <laughs> text to speech. Text to speech. <laughs> that still doesn't help Shelby. Hello, my name is... <laughs> okay. First so was, I'd... where is my centurion? <laughs> Um, Where shall we speak and spell? Jess, this is what she's typing. Okay. Um, so you guys would be able to tell that Shelby is typing messages and showing them to Talia. Or are any of you going to try and read over her shoulder? Mm-hmm. I'm not close enough, so... Okay. Uh, Shelby, are you going to get angry at Haley for reading over Talia's shoulder? Okay, so uh, the first message is, I found you, and the next message is, I missed you a lot. Um, Talia just takes a moment and says, I, I, I miss you too, Shelby, but, but we have to focus here. What is going on? And so Shelby's typing again. Sent to come. So a habit, habit just want. Uh, okay, he said you. So that means he doesn't want me dead. That, 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 at least that. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, what's what's been going on? Like the the last Bishop for Tau. What what happened with Bishop for Tau? Being punished. Um. Uh, uh, okay. Um. So he really was trying to overthrow Havoc. This. Wow. Okay. Huh. Well, Havoc is okay then. He, uh, what, what's, uh, where is he? What, why are you alone? <laughs> so what, he, he allowed you to do this as like a, a personal mission? Like, like just let you go on, on your own? Um, Tally, Shelby, you, you've never been on your own like this. Like, you don't think it's a little different than usual? <laughs> okay, but how did you get to this planet? How did you even know to check this planet? You never asked what? (laughs) 
who see havoc this knew I was here. At that moment, uh, Talia's jaw starts to drop as her eyes go wide. Havictus knew I was here. Is that who you mean when you say he? You mean Havictus. Okay. Gilly. Uh, okay, these are the... I'm going to copy these for uh, Joe. Um, where's my window with Joe? Because Joe's the only one reading over the shoulder at the moment. Um, at the moment, though, these confessions have caused Talia to not exactly panic, but um, she's... She's seeming agitated, to say the least, concerned. All right. Uh, is Haley... Uh, now. Sorry, what? I'm reading through them now. Oh, okay. Uh, so Alexandra is asking if everything's okay. Vern, what's your response? Uh, well, I only heard half of the conversation, so I really don't have anything to say at the moment. Even with the look of Talia physically panicking? Uh, well, you could say Vern is more uh, interested. He's checking the things on the side. I, what you are talking and listening, but he's mostly taking watch that nobody's coming to, you know, and interrupt us. All right. Well, at taking the moment, watch. people are approaching very, very slowly and tentatively. Nobody is coming up to the door though. They're just sort of peering from a distance, trying to squint to look into the darkness. Can I roll awareness to see if I see them so I can try to do everything, something about it? They're, they're still quite a ways away. Like the closest one is still at least 10 meters away. Oh. Okay. I think Stern, Stern look will keep them out of bed. He has Vern. Vern is probably better. Well, if, if Vern wants to you know, just kind of prop his uh, missile launcher or assault cannon up on the windowsill, that might do pretty well to deter anybody from getting anywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think, you know, taking the assault cannon and just, you know, checking it through that everything works, you know, looking at it as it's okay, you know. So Vern's going to make sure that he's visible and not in the shadows? Mm-hmm. Okay, give me an intimidate roll. You roll a one, you make him think that a demon was summoned. <laughs> yep, people are going about their business now. I not. <laughs> What am I doing here? So Veda, um any sort of or Veda fuck. Joe. Haley, that's your name. Haley. Any sort of uh response? Input? Anything? You seem surprised. You saying that's Italian? Mm-hmm. 
she'll look around and she'll stare intently at Shelby for a minute. And just, she'll point with both her fingers at uh, her own temples. Uh, Tally is pointing to her own temples of her forehead and just staring at Shelby and then shrugging slightly. What was that about? Can you... She'll whisper awkwardly, can you not read me? So, um, but you, you can't listen. You can only speak. Okay, Brooke, I'm breathing really heavily into your mic. Thanks. Okay, okay, yeah, no, I, I thought, thought you know, you could hear the way that you speak is what I meant. Ah, okay, well, in that case, um, oh boy, okay. So you're here for me, and, um, well, as much as I just want to give a very, very rude hand gesture to a certain member of this team here, I think Haley would be very upset with me if I did that because um, we've, we've come to uh, discover something about this hive. And before that, the hive that's up on the... Uh, escarpment over there and um, you know, members of the Inquisition despite having different visitors uh, okay um, yeah okay ha ah, yeah thanks Vern I still don't like you Vern but what I'm getting at here, Shelby, is, and she's going to whisper, just to make sure no one has civilians over here, her, there are demons purported to be on this planet. And now we also know that there is a cult that um, Haley especially wants destroyed, uh, as well as this woman, she'll point over to Ariane. Uh, her name's Ariane Duran. She um, she's from another Inquisitor, Inquisitor Vidar. Uh, so, uh, Jess, please give me a roll for uh, Shelby's. She, does she have knowledge Inquisition or not? Oh, excuse me. Okay, give me a roll. Okay, uh, Shelby has also heard of Vidar. She knows Vidar is uh, specialized in hunting down witches. Um, not really caring too much about mutants, but witches definitely got hunt down them witches. Um, doesn't seem to hate sanctioned psychers, but uh, keeps them at bay. Doesn't doesn't not not one to have them close at hand. Kind of like Havictus, uh, but no known vocal opposition to sanctioned psychers. 
uh, just strong declaration that we must find the witch, capture the witch, and purge the witch should that be necessary. And so that's the Dar. And this is apparently one of the Dar's subordinates. Um, and so, yeah, we've uh, got those problems presently. And uh, it would be incredibly irresponsible of me to shirk my duty to the Golden Throne. So, Shelby, I know you want to take me home. But will you please help us deal with these? Thank you. Uh, she'll turn to kind of glance at everybody and think, Shelby is going to help us with our missions. Um, Burn, I don't uh -huh. like you. You don't like me, I, I get that. But here's the thing. When we're done here, Shelby is taking me home. You and Mathiasen are not going to stop that. You understand? We're going to just sigh. Okay, then. Uh, Brooke, are you still around? Yeah, my computer was stupid. Okay. And map you... two froze. I'm pulling it back up. Okay. Just want to make sure we didn't lose yet. Welcome back. So, uh, Talia is now just sort of looking around like, I know I'm not in charge, but I kind of want to be, but... <laughs> uh, we still uh, outnumber you by a great deal. Uh, Talia will hug Shelby some more. Shelby, you're starting to be full aware of the fact that Talia is just looking really haggard and beat up, honestly. There's, there's no obvious bruises or anything, but she's not looking her healthiest. <laughs> Tell me he looks haggard and Ben fills with his soul scanning. Indeed. <laughs> if I was talking about it, I would be talking with, you know, uh, Hammer, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, yes. you just know. Everything that, for some strange reason, I'm just seeing a lot of innuendos when it comes to Burns and <laughs> Talia's interactions. Talia will say this, she'll be, no, no, nothing is okay right now, but as soon as we're done with this mission, missions, rather, I think things will improve. I think it'll become okay after that. Oh, God, what am I about to look at? The hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Probably the best musical ever. Eh, the uh, I've seen a lot of musicals. I don't know if I can make that statement. I'll say it's one of the most <laughs> creative ones. So, uh, Talia is going to once again look at the group and then look at Ariane and say, all right, well, I guess now that our cover is blown, she'll we'll glance over towards Alexandra and not make eye contact for anything, just kind of roll her eyes. Uh, we might have difficulty tracking down who it is that we're looking for in this hive. Um, if they haven't already gone to ground, or, uh, what's the phrase, run to ground, gone to ground? Gone to uh, ground on the ground and if they haven't already hidden themselves um, I don't know how long we really have to wander about trying to find them 
this is a it's not the biggest tide I've ever been in, that's for sure, but it's still a lot of ground to cover and I mean unless you developed your own divination abilities, uh Shelby, I, I really don't know how we're going to find this cult uh, Ariana Haley, I'm, I'm sorry, I just I don't know what to do. Well, maybe we just go to where Ariana was last with her inquisitor and just go from there. See if we can find anything that could lead to where they may have gone. Uh-huh. Well, I guess that's the plan then. Um, oh, that seems been... supposed to you know. I figured this is what we were already going to do. Uh-huh. Unless Shelby has a way to detect where the Inquisitor may be, if he's still alive. She never met him, even if she uh, had that power. Um, and, oh, well, Bob, I do hope you realize what Alexander's actions have caused here. I figured that, but I just went to the first idea that went to, came to my head of how to get us into through the ga- to the wall and the gates. Vern really you forgot uh, entirely that uh, Alexandra has a fantastic fellowship score and the command skill. Also, well, the same reason why that was the first thing to pop in my head is that the occult already knows that the Inquisitors are on to them. So they may have gone to ground already. That was another reason. Except they thought they killed the Inquisition team. Uh Uh-huh. Oh, that makes sense. Well, I wouldn't know. It's it's, it's again like... The thing is, was that four bodies. They knew the Inquisition team was four members, and there was only maybe three bodies. Yeah, and if uh, you slaughtered them, wholesale, you feel confident then, you know, like, yeah, just uh, the case may be whatever it is, it, it is. Just be aware of that subtlety tends to work better in, in an investigation than you know, kicking the door down and being bombast. It wasn't my fault this time. Yeah, yeah, I just went with the first thing that came to my head. And nobody else was saying anything. <laughs> yeah, I regret that I asked. Uh, does anybody else want to say anything? Because Vern doesn't want to shout now. Yeah, if you notice, nobody else spoke up first. Yeah, and I regret that. This is almost as bad as uh, you, as Raul, forgetting that you can turn undead, and you got killed by undead. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, just Raul's the name of a ghoul in uh, Fallout New Vegas. So the whole yeah. thought of Raul... Well, the whole entire uh, issue was I was also uh, drained live twice before my first action by a specter. So there was but still, my- there was a chance. In any event, back into uh, the realm of dark heresy. Um, Vern, you are the lead investigator. So, you know, you do have training on this. So if you ever want advice from the GM, let me know. Sometimes I might make you roll an intelligence roll, but... Uh-huh. But, yeah. You are the man in charge of investigations. What's your plan? I like the idea. I think it's most logical that we go where the cultists were last seen and, you know, start working from there. Okay. Um, if there's nothing further that anybody wants to discuss here, uh, then Ariane will uh, gladly lead you all in that direction. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. So, um, as you guys proceed to walk around some more, uh, it is abundantly clear that word has definitely got out of your presence. 
Um, in fact, there's going to be a time when uh, I just need a couple of good imperial tokens. Um, how's that guy look? Yeah, that's a good one. And uh, this one? Yeah, that'll do. This one? Nah, no, nah, not that one. Uh, It's this new folder too. Yeah, there's just still so many of them that. Uh, oh, those ones, yeah, I should grab a couple of them. And ooh, what's this guy? Yep, perfect. Okay. So as you guys are marching about, you will be approached by a bombast uh, of uh, a different type. Uh, so what order would you guys be marching around in? I think uh, Murray I'd might say, be taking the lead since uh, he has the biggest gun. Also, Ariana would be leading since she's the one showing us the way to go. Okay. So those two would at least be in the front, at least. I think Kieran was trying to say something. Yeah, I'd stay more towards the front. Okay. Haley? About here. Do you guys think Shelby and Talia be at the very rear of the group? We probably shouldn't. Well, give them time to talk. Well, there isn't them back here, so I can keep an eye on them. I figure Shelby can watch Talia now. <laughs> So that's the order you guys would be moving around through in the corridors? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Uh, um, basically, as Ariane's rounding the corner, leading the group, a very loud, bearded man with scars and devotional markings and uh, kind of wearing makeshift clergy robes will step forward waving his arms and say glory be to the emperor the inquisition has come to purge the wicked and his uh, entourage will praise the emperor hmm, sounds like a different guy we met a long time ago in an oil we find <laughs> fuel That's depot fueling depot yeah Great members of the esteemed Holy Ordos, how may we, your humble servants, help you in purging this place of sin? I'll step forward and uh, oh. give the Aquila. You do the sign of the Aquila? Uh -huh. Okay. Will do the same as will his entourage. Uh, see, I had something in mind, now it's just completely gone again. God damn it. Um. Joe, we need to inject you with uh, something. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Does anybody have a phoenix down for Joe? <laughs> He's clearly alive. He's talking. 
well, we can <laughs> kill him, use his phoenix down, and he should come back better. <laughs> I'm tired well, of the not of... allowed to drink. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. I was going to say, though, it depends on which version of the game you're playing, because sometimes using the phoenix down would restore them to full, other times you would just restore them to a single hit point. That's true. <laughs> Um, I think you just need the health potion so you can get rid of all the evil sickness. Or a uh, cure disease uh, potion. But in any event, uh, <laughs> did you happen to remember what you were going to say, Joe? Uh, let's see here. Uh, greetings. Uh, your devotion is... Uh, Noteworthy. Uh, however, uh, your services are needed elsewhere. Where is it that you wish us to be? Well, we think we just found Haley's NPCs that we mentioned she never had. <laughs> and like everybody else. Just to make up for it, it's like, well, everybody else has their own NPC, so I'm just going to take the most. No. Uh, uh -huh. Feel free to go abstract, Joe, if you can't think in character. Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Uh, that can help. Uh, we shall take care of uh, the corruption within the hive. There are others outside in need of assistance. Oh, uh, uh, outside of the hive, of course. We we have been. We have been cowards huddling here behind these walls, of course. Uh, yeah, uh, mm, uh, I begins kind of doing a very slapdash version of high gothic that is kind of painful to your ears, Haley, considering it's, you know, the God Emperor's language. Uh, and uh, he tries to incite his little mob that we must go out into the city beyond and there shall we purge the sinners for it is our devotional pride that leads us there turns out these guys are the cultists we were hunting down and they just pulled a fast one <laughs> <laughs> Um, he will then turn back to Haley and say, with what name shall we proclaim as the great champion of the emperor as we smite the sinners beyond the walls? Well, we're just making a whole bunch of cruise and fight innocent <laughs> refugees now. <laughs> Better not go crucify the fucking refugees. <laughs> <laughs> He's asked you what name you wish him to scream at the tops of his lungs while he purges sinners. Uh, James! James! Tell him James! <laughs> yeah, Emperor. Just the emperor, we need not give any name to his great and holy orbos? <laughs> we all know that this is going to go badly once we get out of this tower if we get out. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm going to blame it all on you. <laughs> go right ahead. I, but I have enough out of character reasons as to why Alex believed this. When she did what she did. Mm -hmm. 
Ron has enough in character reasons to shoot you. <laughs> yes, Joe. <yeah. laughs> uh, Joe? Oh, my head. <laughs> <laughs> Again, Joe is going to be the cause for innocent people getting hurt. <laughs> You're just like your sister. I mean, what? <laughs> Wait, we found we found a long lost sister of Vader. <sighs> Not actually lost. She's being watched closely. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, yes, I, I've got the massive number of messages saying that. Haley, you got to figure out a way to get these guys not to purge people, but to help them by not purging them. Yes, that's what I was trying to get them to do in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> you will have to make a roll if you want to redirect them from their uh, purported holy task. Yeah. You want to try quoting scripture at them? Oh, God. Joe? Yes, I... Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying here, and it's just... I'm sorry. You need to get better. So, give, give us a um, scholastic lore or common lore imperial creed. Which one are you going to do, though? Common or scholastic? Uh, I think they'll react better to common. Okay. Uh, uh, this is not good. Well, uh, fade it just in case. There we go. You're going to fade that? Okay. This is your third fade or only your second? second? Okay. Someone's so lucky to have four fade points. God, life must be so difficult for that person. they got to keep track of how many they use. Yeah. And it's a number more than one. <laughs> So uh, your DC becomes 109 before uh, <laughs> negative modifiers. Um, so, so <laughs> at least a seven a seven success. Haley begins to recite some commonly known scriptures that speak about the importance of helping fellow man live up to the expectations of the emperor rather than simply purging the weak we should be inspiring the weak to be strong give them the opportunity to show that they too can rise above their sin and cast it away in furious worship to the emperor you're not worshipping hard enough. Crucify him! And this seems to strike a chord with the pilgrim. And he's like, yes, yes, of course. Oh, we are just a meager number of devout, but we shall bring more into the fold. We shall make ourselves legion in the emperor's name. Glory be! Glory be! As he's Shouts marching away. Okay, now when we leave this tower, we're going to see effigies of Jane. <laughs> no, no, no. She made it clear that she is but a nameless servant in the glory of the Emperor. It is the Emperor who you must venerate, not his servants. Oh, that's good to know. <laughs> and, uh,. Ariane, but well, before Haley gets away, Ariane will look to her and say, "I got a bad feeling about what they're gonna do." <laughs> uh, 
that she does it for fun. She just walks away. <laughs> Uh, well, at we least do that. at least to now have a less likely chance of starting the purge. The Would you have rather wanted them to, to follow us? No, okay, just a sec. Uh, Ver, uh, Frosty, finish talking, and then Joe. Would you have rather want them to follow us then? Uh, cannon fodder. Very noisy cannon fodder. Joe? <laughs> oh, no, I just... Just a joke. Uh, sorry, what? Uh, just a bad joke. Oh, damn you. But it's a joke that may have rung true. Yeah. Okay, so... Back on Talia, the... Sorry, Talia will also remark to Shelby that... She too has a, a a bad feeling about what that psychotic pilgrim might be going off to do exactly. I am still going to laugh if that turned out to be the cult leader we were after. <laughs> <laughs> My final plan worked. All right. Um, so you will continue to proceed uh, towards Arian's destination. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I am going to copy tokens over into. Oh, I already delete the map. Well, oh, thanks. Yeah, it's important. Yeah. Uh, um. I can't even remember. I named it. Uh, okay. I think this is the one. Map contains exposed areas of fog. Do you want to reset all fog? No. Great. Oh, okay. So, not visible to players. Not visible, not visible. Uh, not visible. Okay. It, I do not recall this doser on this map, but uh, in any event, tasting. Okay. And, and okay, so Vern will take point. Ariane will take uh, point along with them. Kieran, you're up front. You're still AFK. Uh, Haley and uh... sorry, what was that? Oh, dear. Yeah. You're up front, right? Uh, if you guys get into a battle, you want to be in the front. Yes. Because in theory, that should mean you're closer to the enemy. Yep. Okay. Uh, Haley, what? Just behind Kieran? Yep. Uh, Anne will, I guess, stay near to Kieran. Alex, uh, with Haley? Uh, yeah, pretty much. We're, I guess it's pretty much still like this and pit twos. <sighs> you don't exactly know exactly how narrow these uh, corridors are. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. The map name is going to be Hive Structure. Uh, player visible. I can see an X.
Uh, sorry, we're just having a slight private thing. I'm sorry. It'll just... Uh, Yeah. How about that? Stretch my exacto knife. Well, add another minute. Sorry about the delay. Um, so let's see here. Uh, if you guys zoom out, can you see anything at all on this map? So can uh, I the dead bodies. Uh, then there's this machine over here that's been drawn. I see where we are. Also some white boxes. What map are you talking about? You can see the corpses, though? Yep. But no one alive. No living anything. Yep. Nope. Corpse, corpse. Corpse, 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 corpse. Corpse, corpse. Green circle. Bunch of square. And, and excavator. Excavator, pile of dirt, and then there's us. Box. Box. Oh, he has disappeared. <laughs> 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 Uh, okay, so before we make it upstairs, actually, um, you will all hear Talia shout rather loudly the word fuck. And uh, she, uh, at the moment, um, she's looking in the direction opposite of the direction Ariane was leading everyone. Uh, Shelby is clinging on to uh, Talia's arm and... And uh, none of you can actually see Talia's face because she's looking away from all of you. Mm -hmm. I'll stop, turn around, what's going on? Alex will do the same. Oh, stop. What's the screaming about, Talia? She'll take a deep breath, calm herself down, and turn around again to look to the rest of the party and say, I just, I didn't like the looks of those zealots I just it's leaving a really bad feeling but I guess we just have to press on don't we mm -hmm. not much of a choice yeah of course okay well uh, lead on then Arianne we could split off no 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 that that uh, that's a bad idea yeah. That would just mean we'd be uh, easier targets separately. Um, she'll uh, kind of glare at Shelby for a moment and then take another deep breath and say, sorry, but I, I can only imagine the kind of help that those people are going to offer. Yeah. Once we're done here, maybe we can take care of that and solve it from getting any worse. Yes, yeah, so let's hope we can find the fault quickly and be done with it then. Huh? Well, uh, lead on, Arianne. Arianne would grimace and do her job, and so now we can all go to the uh, hide structure map. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so Bill, we do you're going to have a large elevator, um, and it is very rickety, very low power, but, um, well, Haley, give me a uh, tacky score. Wait, we're in an elevator? We don't have a kiosk to push the buttons. Whatever will we do? <laughs> All right. So Haley can they press the perform the necessary um, holy tech rituals. Um, and uh, the machine, the machine spirit is very old and not quite malign, but it's ill. It, it's definitely an ill machine spirit. But. Uh, Daily's able to coax it to life and uh, placate it, feeble, uh, geriatric kind of stammering. Uh, it, it's kind of like the shanks of machine spirits, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it doesn't realize Ugh, it's an elevator. My cogs are after spirit. me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, 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 it kind of thinks it's supposed to be a tracking. Oh, no, it's not a tracking machine spirit. But wait, maybe I am a tracking machine spirit. What am I doing again? Oh, right, elevators. Now, I'm not an elevator machine spirit. Oh, but you're telling me I am. Okay, I guess I am. All right, elevators moving. Great, we're in an elevator with schizophrenia. Who am I? I want to go I'm doing. left. I want to go left. <laughs> yep. Only up and down. And uh, the doors I are don't open. remember my name. You give us the name. Um. The doors are malfunctioning slightly as well, but uh, you are able to step off the elevator at your earliest convenience. And uh, give me your awareness rolls. I think they shall be pretty distracted. I have this thing feeling Shelby's just going to be on Talia like a lampet or limpet or whatever the heck that uh, came from. Lamp, right? Lamp, yeah. Whatever the thing that's hooked in the bottom of sharks and mana ray yeah. eels. Lamp, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to use this elevator. Why can't I spell elevator? You that that's why I can't spell elevator. There we go. Let's see an anemone. Let's see an anemone. Anemone. I am so happy. I'm not the only person who has trouble always saying that word. Set it up, son. That's a, that's a quote from Finding Nemo. <laughs> okay. And Nemo's so, going out to school. Uh, Ariane and Talia get it off the elevator. Is anyone staying on? Mm. Nope. With Anne. No. Okay, let's just leave learning in the elevator with t Darren. Aw. I'll take the lead. The, what's that song? Uh, Making Love in an Elevator? <laughs> going down, we'll go on up or something like that. So Darren is staying in the elevator. I guess, Hi, she to, I, want she, I guess she wants to keep the old, man, the old machine spirit company. Look, are you around? Yes, and I said no already. Well, then move your token. Where? What? Hive structure map. Oh, I'm like half asleep at this point. Okay, well, we'll be wrapping it up in the next 15 minutes or so. Well, I'm sure you'll tell us where we came out. Well, if you zoom out, you need to see where we are. We're the only ones without red X's on us. Oh. Oh. 
I miss something in there somewhere. Okay. So uh, here in this uh, area, there's stairwells, probably the closet over there. Plenty of places for people to ambush, ceiling, uh, ventilation ducts that are kind of deteriorating. It's um, it, it's not a tactically safe place, but if you were to sneak around, you'd probably be able to scout ahead if you want to tell the rest of the party that's the plan. The space quest has taught me anything. An important item would be in the closet. <laughs> I start to move. Maybe like, it's a oh, broom. <laughs> Maybe it's a tutorial cloak. What was that you were saying, Brooke? Sorry, I start to move away from the rest of the group. Is anyone going to stop? Where do you think you're going? Um, I ignore. The same. Put my hood up. Okay. So are you activating the uh, stealth feature? Yep. So uh, it's kind of reminiscent of those days when Haley used to go invisible. Uh-huh. Great, there's more invisible people. And concealment, very nice. All right, is anyone else advancing, or are you guys letting Tyrion scout? Uh, well, she has been quite uh, good so far in scouting, so I just let her go. Okay, uh, anybody else, or are we letting Tyrion go do her thing? Uh, we should at least make at least try to fortify ourselves around here if we're going to be waiting for Tyrion to come back at least in a defensive some kind of defensive position well Ariane will start describing the area um, basically telling Tyrion that you take a left at the hall and go to the corridor immediately south of that um that should be the room where we were ambushed. Um, just be careful as you're going. I have no idea who might still be here. I'll back you up. Don't go in. I want you. Okay. Uh, My glory. You're going to ruin everything. <laughs> uh, at this point, Ariane has her uh, Inferno pistol drawn. And um, she's looking a little haggard because of that book that she's been hauling around everywhere. I thought you didn't like me, Haley. Vern will have his mini, well, a sold can I mount. Yeah, and Alex would be unslinging her bolt carbine. So oh, whatever this. Hmm. Someone was saying something. Apparently not. Well, um, Kieran, move when you're ready. I'm going to make it to right there. Okay. And then I'm going to peek around the corner and do awareness. Okay. Very nice. No obvious threats. Um, however, uh, you can see flickering lights and damaged debris. Uh, there's some kind of liquid dripping sound not too far away. Um, 
sounds and smells of this place. Death comes to mind, decay. This place is... It's it's like the war zone outside. If it had been left to its own devices for another 10 years, maybe 20 years of being abandoned, uh, the sounds, you don't hear anything that could be a potential threat. You don't see anything that's a potential threat. But the air here is stiff. It hasn't been cycled properly. It's not a good place. Do I know if it's, can I tell if it's bad to breathe? It's difficult to breathe, kind of like, um, you ever been to a major city on a really hot day when there's a lot of cars and pollution around? Um, no, not really, but I think I know what you mean by the smell. Okay, it's, it's like that, but without it being hot and humid. Instead, it's kind of cold and stifled. Well, at this point, I'm not pulling out my rebreather. And I'm going to continue forward to okay. here. Okay. And kind of... Sorry, uh, just before you go on, Brock Haley, are you doing anything? Uh, I'm just going to stay a pace behind her. Okay, are you going to do awareness checks too? Yep. And continue to fill out them. Okay, uh, Arianne no. will suggest... Oh, sorry, just a sec. Go ahead, Joe. generally keep this distance between us. Okay. Uh, Ariane will recommend that somebody check each stairwell. Talia will say, mine's the closet. Oh, uh, and, uh, Kieran, what were your orders for Anne? Guard Talia? Yeah. Okay. So, Vern uh, and Shelby, give me your roles as well. Uh, and Alex, give me a uh, search rule, unless you're going to be searching the closet. to fly and just circle around Shelby's head just to bug the hell out of her. Well, that's yeah, all. Please. What is behind door number three? Thirty-three. Aw. <laughs> Why does Shelby gotta be like that? Is Shelby actually doing that, Jess? Burn, your stairwell has uh, some tracks of blood uh, leading from the floor below to the floor above. Um, I will say this. Uh, I got something here. Okay, before we proceed with that, Kieran, another awareness, please. I hear a really weird sound. Sound like a Let's walk into an ambush. Hey, Kieran would be nice and close to the enemy. She'd be in a perfect spot. So there's a door over here that uh, leads to a room that's pretty much pitch black. A crate, crate, large hall with plenty of crates, uh, another doorway. 
Ooh, excuse me. Uh, more of the same, really. You don't see anything that's jumping out at you. And Arianne told me that it's just kind of like basically straight down? Yeah. I will move the air. Okay. Give me a fresh conceal and a fresh move silent. Oh. Not as good as the first one. Okay. Um, Haley, are you moving as well? Okay, and Haley, you'll need some fresh rolls as well. <laughs> to fate or not to fate? <laughs> Swear to God, Haley, if you mess this up for me, I'm going to be mad. Haley yells out, Taylor, where'd you go? He's kind of hanging over there in the shadow section of the hallway. I can't see That's you. more of an Alex thing to do, I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, Ariane will come over to Vern saying, what's up? I point at the blood. She'll kind of look over her shoulder and then look back to Vern, saying, that girl is a psycho, right? I nod. Do you know if she'd be able to tell whose blood that is? Well, one way to find out. I'll say in a mortar I've always, uh, Shelby, could you come here, please? Talia will also approach. Alexandra, are you coming or going? I'll just stop there. Okay. Um, so, Vern, uh, shall we? Oh, actually, you know what? Before we come back to that, Kieran. Yes. Yeah. Another awareness? Well, what are you up to next? I'm going to look in the next hallway. Down okay. the next hallway. So then awareness it would be. Okay. Spent shell casings here, here, here. This room is very dark, but you can sort of make out figures in the darkness. Um, you're not a hundred percent sure, uh, but, um, they look like bodies. One of them looks rather large. Do you smell of death is greater and, uh, you can also smell Faintly, the residue of gunpowder being charged. But I, I don't think I see anyone alive. You don't see any movement. I suppose I can't move through the lock. I'm going to go yeah. more behind the cover. Okay, uh, Haley? Go there and club the aspects. I guess Haley's good for her aspects. Tech use and then your awareness. The 
message, spirits are pleased. Okay. Um, you have extremely faint bio signs that um, would be consistent with dead people. Uh, the Ostex also detects uh, trace amounts of uh, discharge in the air from firearms in the recent uh, probably, you know, a couple of uh, hours or so. Um, there is also a power signal coming from down uh, south of your position that's fairly strong, actually, and is consistent with power armor. Hmm. Okay. Um, so, Vern, you've got Shelby staring at you with an annoyed look on her face. Uh, I am standing just to the side of that. Talia watching carefully, and uh, Alex just down the hall slightly. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Um, Ariane here asked if you might be able to, well, with your powers to distinguish where did this come from or where they are going. Actually, I asked if we would be able to tell whose blood it is. Ah, excuse me, I'm a little bit... Uh, distracted here. She'll give a slight grimace to that. No, no psychic signature or anything on it. However, you do get a sense that there is something in this direction. It's, it's an odd sensation. It's, you, you need to get closer to it to try and define it. Okay. Um, and... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Just show my character, yeah, There's a slight signature of some sort emanating from Ariane as well. Not you, shall we do? Everybody's trying to blow my Shelby, cover. Yeah. We'll proceed along with Shelby. And of course, Anne will follow. Uh, Alex, Alvern, and well, Ariane would also proceed after shooting for a uh, glare. Or not a glare, but kind of a look of whatever. Okay. And after you guys decide if you're moving or not, Kieran, it is your turn again. I'm going to do awareness again, but I, out of character, I don't like what's going on. Are you not moving? No, I'll still move. Did we do an awareness behind there? Oh, right. No, yeah. No, yeah. no you did do it. Or no, you're not from there. Right. You did it from further back. Oh, crap. Well, I can't see anything. Just barely. Yeah, so there's definitely no movement down here. There are some flickering lights. And you can see, you can pretty sure that's like a large corpse of some sort. Um, yeah, and then as you get closer, it'll become clear that, yes, it is a large corpse missing its head. And it's in power armor. Oh, awesome. I'm about to get chopped in half. That would be her, like, internal monologue. (laughs) 
Yes, it, it, it's filled. Uh, uh, Haley? Okay, are you using the off specs again? Yeah. Okay, are you going to change the settings or just continue to scan with the present settings? Uh, I'll scan it again, present settings. Oh, if you're using the same settings, you don't need to do a tech use roll. Oh, okay. So just awareness? Yep. Hey! Hi, Scott. Save my life, Green Kelly. Um, yeah, that's, that's definitely a power armor signature, uh, but it is in standby mode, as it doesn't currently have any um, uh, motivation circuitry ongoing at this time. Um, there is also a little alert on your off specs saying that you should switch to alternative sensor modes as uh, passive sensors are detecting an anomaly. Okay, I'll be doing that next turn then. Mm -hmm. I have my micro beat on, so anything you want to tell me would be fantastic. Because I don't uh, have there's, a clue. There's one life sign in front of you, and it's Kieran, uh, because you you can tell that ass through your off specs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll come up on the micro beat. Uh, Tyrion, be careful. There's uh, something ahead. Give me a moment. And I questioned the tech priest as to why there was a dead ass sensor on this aspect. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Shelby, Burn, Alex, anything? Mm, no. Nope. Just following Shelby because she has Shelby. clearly noticed something. Chip, 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 people. Have your weapons ready, Ariane would shout. Well, I have my weapon have, ready. I have had my assault cannon all ready all the time. <laughs> so she's, she, she's agitated, though, because, you know, her team got slaughtered nearby here. So she doesn't just have her weapon at the ready. She's, like, ready to blow a hole through the wall with it. I'm ready to blow holes through people. All right, Darren? Um, I'm going to ready both of my wrist blades, and then I'm going to, oops, 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 um, probably just stay put and do another awareness roll. Okay. Do I see, well, we'll see if I see the head laying around anywhere now, won't I? Did you see what? The head of the power armor corpse somewhere. Ah, okay. Well, oh, well, you see bits of the head on the ceiling, on the walls, on the floors, as well as some other gruesome bodies. Uh, that one there looks like uh, it was chewed on by wild animals. Uh, the head. Um, I can't remember how everybody died exactly, but uh, it, it's a kind of gruesome scene around here with uh, splayed limbs and organs and uh, just general mayhem. Uh, you're jaded though, right? I think so. I don't have my character sheet. Oh, right. You didn't, you I'm able to read pretty it. sure uh, I am. I appreciate sure it is because I still yeah. distinctly remember that everybody was jaded, but except for Gallius back on the celestial heaven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're jaded. Okay. Um, so yeah, any other action for now? We're just waiting and watching. Um, I actually want to move the back cover. Okay, doke. Uh, also. Time for a uh, conceal and uh, move silent roll. Oh, crap. Okay. Hello? Ho, ho, ho. 
trying to find me now, copper. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Uh, alternate setting. Okay. Vile beast might be in this stupid place. All right, uh, where's my window? Oh, I don't like the fact. Uh, uh, uh. You're way far ahead of any kind of support in case something happens. I'm not completely shit out of luck, so. Here you go, Joe. Um. <laughs> you call him in? Uh, nothing's showing up. Send me a message in our private window, say to Joe and Vile Terra. See, that's why I feel like I keep calling data because they are ter- our uh, private chat has that as the first word. I guess it's time to rename it to Haley Joe. That's not good. Terran, get back. Now. Uh, but. And on we go to Ariane, Vern, Alexandra, and Shelby. Um, Ariane does not have a microbead yet with the group. So she does not hear Haley. Neither does Shelby either, does she? Doesn't look like it. No, how? Who, the hell? Click on the wrong link and then pop up. Why is everybody going back? Yeah, I'm shutting, uh, I'm shutting Shelby, that you're over, advancing. I'm shutting that over the micro beta tier. So Vern and Alex, you'd both hear what Haley said as well. Mm-hmm. Yes, but you didn't roll and you didn't pay attention to it, so mm-hmm. Shelby has not lagged behind. Whereas we would be advancing and Haley would yell, well, try to complete that we should stop. Vern would, you know, make a. Uh, Vern would stop and stop Haley. And not Haley, Shelby was walking close by to and say to the other, so. Stop. Okay, so, Darren, you've been told to get out. Do we have the whole zero? I'm tempted to ask what's going on, but I don't exactly want to break my concealment or move silent with that roll. Or if you have a really good agility, you can maybe book it back, put it far up, back up the hall. I also have sprint. That's true. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you can probably make it to Vern with sprint. Uh, my sprint would be 48. I could move pretty far back up the hall. I should be at least, I'd be past Haley. Yeah. So are Damn you it, Haley, why, why, Damn, Haley, why do you have to ruin all my fun? I finally get to do what I like. There's Haley. There's something weird in the room. Hmm. 
Oh, healing, you might want to get out of this. There's so many things that want to eat your brain. I like the wind. And as she passes, she says, there, are you happy? All right, Haley. I want to investigate the bodies. Who's rubbing the body? Yeah, rubber duck. Okay. Um, so it looks like Shelby's turning around trying to locate Talia. Um, Burn uh, and Ariane will rush up the cover and uh, be looking around rather frantically. Burn. Um. Uh, I don't like this at all. Uh. And Alex? Uh, she's just going to stay where she is and aim her combine at this general, uh, this general area and aim and fire whatever the first hostile thing she sees. Okay. So, um, Haley, did you explain anything yet or you just pulled back? No, yeah, I just pulled back. Okay. Um, Shelby, I think you can move at least another four meters. All right, so you not see uh, Talia when you come around the corner. So that might cause Shelby a bit of panic, I realize. But um, Taryn, uh, what is your next action? Um, I'm going to go this direction. And look down uh, awareness. That hallway. More of the same. Stagnant air, smell of death. Uh, just generally not a pleasant place. Um, but still no movement. No sounds of movement, no breathing, no walking, just the occasional piddle paddle or drip drop or hissing from gas uh, being released from valves and whatnot. Or the crack crackle of uh, lights flickering on and off. Uh, Haley. Uh, first, I'll deactivate the synth skin. Right, so, we got a warp anomaly up ahead. A what? Ariane will come around to look at Haley. That's about all I can get from my auspects, and I'm not sure we should get much closer yet. Warp Psyker, she'll turn to the anomaly. Up and see uh, that she'll be his way over there even though she thought Shelby was just behind her a minute ago. So she'll start the head towards Shelby. We'll follow that. Burn, you just say the words warp anomaly and nothing else? Uh, I'll say to Alexandra that get Shelby and I look around Talia back here too. Uh, I'll keep watch just in case here. Okay. So Shelby, you've come around the corner. Um, what are you doing?
Oh, it's gonna suck as Shelby. <laughs> Shelby finally reunites with Tali and Tali gets killed in his tower. Okay, so uh, she would notice that this door is ajar and she would be able to see that there is indeed a uh, Talia uh, with a little servo skull hovering next to her. And Talia has uh, apparently been shifting some boxes around over here in crates in the closet. Okay, the closet is dark, but when you get close enough, you'll see that Talia appears to be inspecting some kind of marking on the wall. Is this present visible to everyone? Uh, now they zoom out, yeah. <laughs> yep. Eliud, blam, blam. So, uh, there's white markings on the wall and what looks to be some kind of scrolled script, uh, text or something, um, underneath it. Uh, if you have, uh, you can give me a uh, role for cults or heresy. Okay, well, uh, I only have one state point left, so decision. Okay. Um, you don't recognize it uh, exactly, but um, the text underneath it at least seems vaguely familiar as it's one of the prescribed languages. It's, it's one of the texts that are not meant to be written or uh, reproduced. So the symbol itself eludes you, but the text underneath it, not supposed to be writing that way. That's a bad way to write. Oh my God, it's a call of poor grammar. Kill them all. <laughs> Great, now we have just become the grammar Nazis. Great. You need to cleanse them of the bad grammar. No, 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 not Spanish. In uh, Esperanto. <laughs> okay, so uh, we can sort of come out of the turn-based stuff. Uh, Ariane will jog up. And say, oh, where did you go? She'll shout out. Uh, Talia at that moment will be startled and turn around and then get startled again because uh, Shelby basically snuck up on her and says, oh my god oh, thank god it's you uh, thank the emperor, it's you uh, in here, she'll shout Marianne will peek her head around the corner um, and uh, just before we do that whole reveal Kieran, Haley, Vern what are you doing? I'm continuing down the hallway. I'm yeah. keeping eye out. Um, anything that might 
try to harm us. I draw my carnadons and hold position. Okay, so you two are holding position, guarding the area. Turin, give me another uh, awareness. You know what, I'm going to use my last fate point. Okie doke. Bravo. At this point, you were feeling more and more confident that the only people alive right here, right now, is your team. Um, this place, this, the more you see of it, the more it's seeming apparent to you that it's been abandoned for ages. Um, back in the other hall, you did see at least you know some footprints in the dust. In this hallway, the, the dust hasn't even been disturbed. Like nobody, unless they can hover or climb on the ceilings or the walls, nobody's walked down this hall. Okie dokie. Um, can I continue? Yeah, if you want. Why do I see you when I get into the other room? Give me an awareness. You see a great big land truck and a big pile of dirt and rebar that looks like something had caved in over the south edge. It's kind of distracting because this is like a very big apparent thing. How did they get that all the way up here? Um, I'm going to say to the microbeat, I found this truck. I don't know if it would be, if it works or if it would be of any use to us. All right. Well, Kieran, I think your discussion, well, I, Haley and Vern will hear that, no problem. But uh, Ariane will step into the room and say, that's the symbol. And Talia will nod. Yeah, I remember when you drew it before the uh, other one blew it up. Um, I'm trying to, I'm trying to understand what this text here means, and she'll point to the text below the symbol, saying, "Does, does anybody recognize it? I think I do, but it, it, something about it seems familiar." Uh. Someone's making a ton of noise. Uh, Talia will look at Shelby's text message and say, uh, can you elaborate a little bit more on that? That one is breathing very heavily into the microphone again. Uh, she's never actually read the language. She doesn't know what any of the text means. She just knows that it is a forbidden text. Forbidden language. Forbidden. Okay, uh, well, I guess I should roll intelligence for her. Uh, yeah, where's the window gone? Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. she is a smart cookie. Um, so for the moment, Talia is, uh, kind of mumbling to herself, pointing at the individual characters in the text. Um, Ariane will just sort of be watching 
nervously. Um, Alex, are you doing anything? Reporting any of this on your microbead? Uh, yeah, I'm just waiting to see if I'll tell the rest of the talking. I was going to say, um, looks like we found another symbol in the closet over here, guys. Haley, they're singing your song. <laughs> you just hear a stampeding closet bolts going off in the hallway, pushing toward the closet. Another symbol? Uh, look, Is it the same? Uh, it looks like, just like the one that Haley blew up. And I hear this? Oh. I'm staying over the micro bead. Anything special about it? There's also some text here. Yeah, I'm on my way. All the time. So just tell me when I arrive. Yep, you guys can come right to it. Uh, just before we do the grand reveal, though, Kieran? Yes? Just... You told them that uh, you found a vehicle, and you heard over the microbead, we found a symbol and text. I want to see it. Okay. So but I suppose it's going to take me longer than everybody else to get there. You are very speedy, though, so um, you'll miss the initial reveal, but you'll be there for the follow-up. And so Haley is uh, crouched down in front of the symbol. Um, it looks fairly fresh, uh, probably possibly even written today, uh, if not maybe a week ago. It's with a kind of chalky white material. Um, Haley resists the urge to blow it up in front of Talia's face. <laughs> I had a feeling I had to do that. Oh, Sorry, she would have, uh, if, if I failed that, I would have came in with the plasma pistol out, and you guys would have had to restrain her from vaporizing it. Okay. And Kieran would have missed the symbol again. So, uh, Talia says, I think I understand it. Can I try to understand it? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, you've got uh, some forbidden lures. Okay. Haley, if you can, uh, well, you, you've got a three on your willpower, so I'll say you have the strength of will to look at it. Do you want to try and, uh, well, Vern, do you want to use a fate point or? Yeah, sure. There and I'm guessing Haley also used a fate point. I got one left. Yep. I'm kind of happy. Alex is kind of stupid in this situation. Burns got fate. So Haley? No, that's Alex. Who's Haley? There we go. So you have one fate point left then. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, Haley, you will be able to. Uh, Huh, well, actually, you know what? Haley, 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 you, you do have training in heresy. Well, my, my goodness. Um, it is indeed a heretical forbidden text uh, that you learnt the uh, basic definitions uh, just because... Um, you know, there, there are certain key words that you were trained to look for so that you would be able to use this language against the enemy who writes it. Keywords like, we moved to a new location, which is pretty much what the message here says. Um, it's basically a set of coordinates towards the south. Um, but it's not using an imperial system of coordinates. It's like um, a different race or a different culture or something, something not imperial. Uh, and pretty much at the same time that you decipher it, Talia kind of sounds it out, pointing to each individual character saying this one means this, this, this. So they're they're saying that they moved their operations from this location 
to I I I don't know. I think it means the 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 the, the uh, oh god the tower, not this tower, the, the other tower. She says that she kind of collapses her hand, her forehead into her hand. Oh. <laughs> so you're saying that they left this tower for the other one. An unholy alliance between this, whatever this is, and and the the three ring symbol, the allies. No, that perhaps that makes our job easier. Tell you kind of whimpers. Maybe, but. I still want to know where the does those blood tra- well does that uh, blood trail go? Well, Ariane will just sort of interject at this point. What about Inquisitor Vidar? We we came here to find him, and we were hoping that this cult would lead us to him. Uh, where go. is my Inquisitor? That's what I want to know. Correction, we came here to destroy the heretics, and if we might find Vidar here, that would be good. But, you know, I'm suggesting here we follow the bloodbath that might take us to Vidar. Where did I last leave him? She'll march out of the room, and she'll... At this point, I think, Kieran, you would have caught the tail end of all that. Okay. I want to do um, forbidden lore on the symbol. All right. Which forbidden lore do you have? It might not be applicable. No, yours aren't. Neither of your forbidden lores would be applicable here, I'm afraid. But, um, yeah, Ariane will march out of the room, turn, and then stand here and point. That's where we were ambushed. Down there. Let's go there. Where the anomaly was. Anomaly. I was told I could not continue in that room. What anomaly? Everybody turns looking at. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I, I, I think I've got all the information I can from this, Haley. Go ahead and destroy it. Get out of the way. And <laughs> fire the plasma pistol into it. <laughs> That'll be another negative one to your ammo. That's the regular plasma pistol or the holy plasma pistol? For this one, salt. Okay, so you've used one from each then. Yep. Kurzoip. And uh, go ahead and roll the damage on it. And uh, this plasma weapon actually, Jess, is gold, not blue. Oh, that was deadly damage. For shame. You slightly singed the symbol. It still stands there mocking you. <laughs> you know, uh, it is a blessed weapon, so... Uh, you you scorch the material and it just kind of flickers off the wall as ash, but there's also the scorch mark on the wall. Um, so Ariane will point at Shelby and say, "Tell me what the anomaly is." And I think at this point, though, 
it's already gone 40 minutes past what I wanted to end tonight's session. <laughs> so unless there's something anybody wants to interject first, I think we're going to have to call the night. I have nothing. No, nothing at the moment. Okay. I'm very glad that we uh, got to play. I'm really upset that Scout wasn't able to make it. Uh, and uh, this... Uh, I, I can see this being very bad. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to save the campaign and shut down the server. Um, once again, thank you all for playing. And... Uh, I do look forward to um, next session will be on the 4th. We will not be playing on the 11th, but then we will play the 18th. And, Brooke, the 25th, is that going to be good or? I'm gone that weekend or that whole week. Okay, because you, you put 26, so I wasn't sure if the 25th would be any good. But uh, so the fourth and the 18th work for everybody. Uh, yeah, to me. Oh, no, I'm at, at the, 20th. the moment. Yeah. I'm at the 25th. I don't okay. know where I got the 26th. I'm gone. Oh. I'm gone the 22nd through the 27th. Okay. And so we have a Shelby back. <laughs> Shelby back. Shelby back. Shelby back. Ribs. Alrighty, everybody. Thanks once again. I'm going to copy paste and shut down the.